We'll wait around for that. Thank you, Nick. Governor Cuomo said today he doesn't want the political scandal swirling around Albany to eclipse or derail the remaining days of the legislative session. Women's equality, ethics reform, the Long Island Power Authority, and casino gambling are on his to-do list. He told radio host Susan Arbetter today that he's hoping to get casino gambling on the ballot this fall, even though he recognizes it could be a political liability. His plan is to place casinos upstate, and yet the only sure voting block this November will be New York City, which has a big mayor's race on the line. I don't want to wait another year. I get that it's a hard road to hoe, but I think there's a real opportunity for regional economic growth here. And uh, upstate New York needs it. So I suggest uh, I want to go forward with the casinos if we can do it right. I said if it's going to be a political process, I want to have nothing to do with it. Our political analyst, New York Post state editor Fred Dicker, is reporting in the New York Post today that some top aides to Governor Cuomo will leave soon. He says several significant departures are coming. Fred says he learned of the departures from an unnamed source with firsthand knowledge. Adding to their displeasure, according to Fred, is that those aides are convinced that the governor won't be elected president.